You know, uh, it's just a great group of boys. Um, and, uh, you know, they just, uh, it was another team that we've had that has continued to kind of follow the class before and how hard they work. And this team really did that. Um, uh, kind of took it to another level. They really worked hard and really improved. Um, and, uh, and were very competitive. And then, so that was fun. And then they just were a team that just, um, they just had a lot of fun playing together. They were uh, a lot of fun to coach. We had a lot of, a lot of laughs while we were working really hard at the same time. So it was, it was just a, it was a, a really fun team. Well, we, uh, you know, our small school here, you know, 800 kids, public school, uh, anytime we beat a big uh, private, uh, mainly Catholic school from uh, the San Jose or Silicon Valley area is a big deal. So we beat um, Sarah High School this year, which was a huge win. That's a huge school. We beat Valley Christian, which is another big private school. Um, we beat Palo Alto this year, which is a huge public school, water polo, powerhouse type of thing, uh, or type of school. Um, so our school just kind of continues to uh, compete and beat a lot of these big powerhouse programs that dwarf us in size. And um, you know, anytime you face a private school, they're, they're just kind of playing by different rules, kind of, so to speak. <laughs> We had, uh, so one of our seniors, Wyatt Milne, uh, we were in in that big game against uh, Yanipero Serra, a big school from San Mateo, and uh, he uh, got punched in the, uh, in the face, and uh, that actually doesn't happen that much in our sport, as much as kids will tell you. Uh, it is a very physical sport, but rarely does, um, do you ever see somebody hit somebody on purpose to, you know, cause them some damn injury. Uh, it's a lot of kind of pushing and holding and grabbing, but rarely do we ever see a punch thrown or anything like that. But so he got punched and uh, he, uh, his tooth popped through his upper lip. So he had this big gash um, in his lip and uh, we stopped the bleeding and taped it up and he went back in and finished the game and we won by one goal, which was a big win. And then after the game, it was pretty cool. Two of our kids on the team, Jack Ellison and Zach File, both their dads are uh, emergency room physicians at, the, at Chomp. So Jack Ellison's dad came down to the pool. He went and got some equipment up at the hospital, came down and stitched Wyatt's lip up on the bleachers at our pool uh, under the lights. And uh, the lights turned off right in the middle as he was stitching him up. So he finished the... Uh, the procedure with all of us holding our cell phone flashlights over on Wyatt getting stitched up on the pool deck. So it was pretty, it was pretty cool. So. I play water pool because it is a great escape for me. I've been playing it since I was in grade. And it's just one of my favorite sports, and I just love being water polo. My favorite mo moment in water polo this season has been when we beat SoCal, who is our biggest rival, and we beat them in their pool, which was the first time anyone's done that in 25 years. I play water polo because, like, my mom played it when she was in high school, and my uncle played it when he was in high school, and like, my mom, and like, there were swimmers and stuff, and like, it was kind of like, natural for me to play it. Last season, I was like the best swimmer when we won championships, because I was on JV, and then the goalie got a concussion four games before, so they moved me up, and we won all four games, and won championships at the end. They left another legacy for the classes below us to uh, to follow a great example. And so I'm really proud of our boys of, of uh, raising the bar yet again, higher than even classes have done before. And we just kind of keep ramping it up. And so these guys will be um, a team that we all remember uh, as, 
as very mature and uh, just really a great unit uh, of great character guys.